It's time now for our weekly art and culture section. It looks like luxury goods company Christian Dior will be sticking by actor Johnny Depp and keeping him as a brand ambassador despite pressure to drop him. Another story we'll be looking at is the artistic couple who are on a mission to capture a picture of France we don't often see. And it looks like there's some light at the end of the tunnel for music festivals. For more on this, let's speak to our reporter, Andrea Belitho. Good to see you, Andrea. Hi, let's start off with this artistic couple. Just tell us what they're trying to achieve. It's a rather nice story. There's a um, painter, Nelly Mornier, and her uh, partner, the photographer, Eric Tabucci. They began work on what is being called the Atlas of Natural Regions in France in 2017. It's a project to capture as you mentioned, the, a sort of forgotten side of France. The businesses, the um, uh, buildings, houses, signs, posters, the, um, the unique architecture that makes up towns, villages and countryside in France. There are no um, Insta shots beautifully lit of the um, Eiffel Tower at dawn here. They're kind of quirky. Some of the pictures are funny. Some of the pictures are poignant. Some of them are quite sad. They capture uh, a disappearing landscape, both rural and urban. So the pair are travelling around the Région Naturelle. These are kind of the counties in France. There's 500 of them. They're going to select 50 pictures from each, uh, let's say, county. So there'll be 25,000 in all. They're all centred. They're flatly lit, so they're all the same. So it will be a massive catalogue portrait of a France that probably won't be there in a decade's time. 25,000 pictures, and they've had to stop that all because of COVID. Sadly, yes. But for music festivals, potentially good news now, even though despite COVID, some light at the end of the tunnel because of testing. Absolutely. We've probably all seen these 15-minute test centres springing up all over the place. Uh, one events company is saying, right, we're going we're gonna to make an on-site rapid COVID testing centre. So uh, combine this with other COVID protocols, um, temperature taking, etc. And it's becoming uh, feasible that festivals and other events could start operating again. Um, Glastonbury founder Michael Evis said that next year's festival would at, it, at its heart, I guess this is depending where we are with the vaccines, have massive testing arrangements. Of course, the 50th one this year was cancelled, along with many, many other festivals across Europe. I know all too well because me and my fiancé actually had got the golden tickets yeah. to go to this year's Glastonbury oh, Festival. Dear. But bring on next year, and I hope those tests are available. Now, just quickly, last time we spoke to you, we were talking about Johnny Depp. It seemed that all of the doors in Hollywood were being slammed mm -hmm. in his face. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to Christian Dior, it seems no news is good news. I guess so, yes. We'd heard that he'd been dropped from the Fantastic Beasts franchise. We've heard about his replacement now. But um, adverts, he's been, he's been um, advertising Sauvage Perfume since 2015. And this week on UK TV, um, adverts went out. So we can assume that Dior is still tentatively giving their backing, at least to uh, Johnny Depp. We're not sure whether they're just hedging their bets. Of course, um, Sauvage is for sale in other countries other than the UK where his libel case took place. Or maybe they just think, well, no publicity is bad publicity.